How did, how did the whole production become such a family affair for you? Because you've got, I think anyone who's related to you has a gig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the BBC guy said, who do you have to screw around here to, get, you know, to become an O'Carroll? Um, <laughs> It, 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 all, it all happened uh, quite accidentally, although it looks like it, it, it may be planned. It's not planned. Yeah. Accidentally, what happened was, first of all, I saw uh, Jenny, who's, who's now my wife, I saw Jenny in a play many, many years ago. I went actually to see the director's work because I couldn't get a director for my very first play. Nobody would direct it, and I don't blame them. Um, and I w went to look at this director's work, and Jenny was in the play. I turned up... Uh, I, I told the director I was coming to see it on the opening night, uh, I was late getting back from London, uh, so my flight got in late. So I rang ahead to the box office to say, look, don't let my tickets go. And they said, no, no, the director's told us to hold this curtain until you get here. So, oh, Jesus. So I felt more under pressure. I was supposed to start at 8, so I got to the theatre at 10 past 8, into the box office. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm really sorry. They gave me the tickets. And I went in the, the, the corridor, and there was a girl standing inside the door. I said, uh, I'm, I'm really sorry, I'm late. And she said, oh, just sit down. I said, well, there's no way for an usheress to talk. Anyway, I got my seat, and the lights went down, and the stage lights came up, and the usheress came out and walked up on the stage. She was an actress. Oh, gosh. Now, what I didn't know was that it was Jenny. Yeah. What I didn't know was nobody had told her the curtain was being delayed, and she had to make her entrance from that part of the stage yeah. uh, outside, and she was out there 20 minutes crapping herself. Uh, so I was no help. But anyway, I watched it that night, and, and I thought, um, no, he probably won't be directing, because we, we did a different sense of comedy. Yes. He was a really funny guy, but it, we had different sense. He won't be directing, but I'll have his barman and I'll have his barmaid, yeah. who were both in the play. And Jenny was the barmaid. So um, I approached her, and, and uh, Jenny came and, and, and joined the show, and I didn't like her. She was... You, uh, you, though you've met Jenny, I know you, you, yes. you and Jenny get on well, but she's a bitch. <laughs> Let's introduce Jenny at this point. <laughs> uh, Jenny, good evening. How you do? Hi, uh, Ryan. Because you played Mrs. Brown's daughter. Yes. Uh, and she, he's Mrs. I'm confused. So <laughs> you're his wife, and she. How, how does that all work for you? Well, it's kind of a hard question because um, you've seen Mrs. Brown. Yes. And you see Brendan. Oh, I do. So it doesn't really feel like I'm working with my husband because once I see Mrs. Brown, she's a kind of force to be reckoned with, and there's. Not a lot of Brendan. I know he's in there somewhere, but it's Mrs. Brown. Let, let's just remind ourselves of this scene with the pair of you. Oh, yeah, Actually, yeah, yeah, I like yeah. this. Yeah, I like this. Well, well, marriage is not just all about sex. Now, that's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, you're so right. Yeah. Oh, listen, I remember one night himself. Oh, he went. Now, he, he, he went till, from about one o'clock in the morning till quarter past two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, well, it was the night that the clocks went forward. <laughs> For God's sake. Oh, hold on. What, Cathy? Just order the pizza. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. OK. Introduce us to... From, you've got Jenny. Who's OK, here? You've, got, you've got Jenny, uh, who's my wife, and yep. then you've got Fiona, who's my daughter, who plays Maria, who plays my daughter-in-law. Yes. And then you've got Eilish, who's my sister, who plays next-door neighbour, Winnie. Yes. And then you've got Amanda uh, Woods from the beautiful uh, town of Letterkenny in Donegal. Yes. Uh, who plays my daughter-in-law, who actually is my daughter-in-law. Yes, she might uh, as well be. And then you've got Danny beside her, who plays my son... No, who plays uh, my son's best friend, but he was actually my son. And then you've got Martin next... Uh, let me just tell you how... Uh, Martin is my son-in-law. Let me tell you how the, all this worked. Is the whole audience related to you, by the way? No, no. <laughs> just the front row. But, but it, did, it didn't happen... Uh, I fell in love with Jenny. I didn't expect to, and I did. And I didn't even like her. But uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, the feeling so was I, I married her. Fiona had just finished DIT, uh, uh, where she'd done television production and okay. direction. And uh, she was taking a year out, and I said, well, look, why don't you step in and take a part in, in, in the show? Yes. So she did, and she was so good that I wouldn't let her go. Yes. She fell in love with my producer, who's Martin at the end, and Martin and her um, married. So now my producer is my son-in-law, and my daughter is my... <laughs> so... I, I'm just trying to think, I think you lost me at Jenny's a bitch. OK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you've Amanda... Amanda joined us, actually, to... to <clears throat> first of all, started off selling merchandise, if I, if I remember rightly. Martin, Mar Amanda was doing merchandise. She, was, she had done some acting... Uh, listen, when you're an actor, yeah. and, and you go into the bar in the Gaiety, or the bar in the Olympia, or any theatre in Dublin, I guarantee you, the steward, the usherette, the front of house staff, the bar staff, they're all actors. Mm. Because I know what it's like. Even though you can't get a gig somewhere, you have to be in a theatre. You've got to be close to it. And, and that was Amanda. She took the job because it was available. But luckily enough, Amanda, somebody got sick. 
Amanda stepped in, and she's been there ever since. Right. Danny plays Buster. Yeah. Uh, Buster fell in love with Amanda. They married. Um, so now I've got... So I end up on the road. I have my son, my daughter, my son-in-law, my daughter-in-law, my sister, my son, uh, my wife. Uh, sure Danny and Amanda have two kids, Jamie and, and uh, um, Blake, and Fiona has two kids, Felix and Eli. So we've got four grandchildren, my daughter, my son, my daughter-in-law, my son-in-law, my wife, my four grandchildren, two nannies on the road, and I swear to God, I can't make a penny. <laughs> <laughs> How could you possibly? Listen, it's, it's, it's going so well for you. It's on Saturday nights, obviously, in RT1. Continued success. It's always good to see you. We'll talk more in due course, but in the meantime, Brendan well, O'Carroll. Thank you very much. Okay, now it's time to see who's got through to win €20,000 in cash. Earlier on, we asked you who the new leader of Fianna Fáil is. The answer oh, I know, I know. is, of course, me. Bertie Ahern. Bertie Ahern, no, no, I'm afraid not. The correct answer is, of course, Michal Martin. Uh, <laughs> really? Yes. I've been away. I know, it's all changed. Oh, imagine yeah. being elected the captain of the Titanic. <laughs>